changes on the page and today I'm going to be talking about my November TBR. So I haven't really did, a, I didn't really do a TBR for October mostly because I was super crazy busy and I just, I was planning so many th other things because I just got over my friend's wedding in September and I was going on this big trip to um, Canada the first half of October. So I just, I was already planning a lot of other things so I didn't really want to plan my TBR for the month. Um, but I, I am trying to get back into it just because I do really enjoy doing it. I am, like I've said kind of before, I am a big mood reader, so I don't usually get to all the books on my TBR, just because one of the books I might read might spark an interest in that similar vein or in another book, and so I'll like follow that path, which I really enjoy, but sometimes it really bugs me because some of the books that I have on my TBR are books that I do really want to read. Like, there is a reason they're on my TBR. I'm not just throwing random books on there to see if, if I'm interested. These are books that I have already have interest in. So it's kind of irritating when I also don't get to them, but I'm actually currently listening to I Can't Date Jesus by Michael Arsenault. Nope. By Michael Arsenault. I'm listening to it as an audiobook and it's just kind of his relationship with Jesus or like with religion in general, like not necessarily with Jesus and his perspective on it, which is kind of cool. It was picked for my book club, which, so I, I had I had not heard of it before that, and I'm liking it fine so far. Another book I plan to read, or I've already started reading, I started it in October, but I plan to finish it in November, is called Five Minutes Longer by Victoria Sue. I've been kind of on this gay detective military thing because this one is about it, it reminds me a lot of x-men the like the movies because it's about this kid well not kid this young man who why can't i remember his name right now i don't know anyway this young man who wants to go out for the fbi but he doesn't get a high enough score but they're the fbi is trying to do this like specialized unit of enhanced humans is what they're called and it's it reminds me exactly of x-men because they can do all of them can do different things like some of them can um move objects or they have super super strength they can cause you to freeze like stop moving so but and it's about them so the future of this special forces team relies on this young man and this enhanced humans getting along because the only way that they feel like they can sell this special ops team to the public and to the rest of the FBI is if they're paired with if the enhanced humans are paired with regulars because of course the hands are, are viewed as dangerous and all that crap so I yeah like I said I started that in October it and I so I, I do hope to finish it in November but we'll see Another book I plan on reading, which is coming out on November 10th, is the fifth book in the Criminal Intentions series by Cole McCade, which I am absolutely loving that series. I don't know which one is going to come up first, my wrap-up or my TBR, so if it's my, if my TBR comes up first, the series is about these two detectives, Malcolm Kalaji and Shang Jane. Zhang Jae Yoon, who are forced to become partners at, I think it's the uh, police department, and they just butt heads all the time. They both have very different ways of working, and of course there's, but what's really cool about this series is it's kind of told like a TV series, like you'd kind of expect it. Like each book is its own little kind of episode, and there's like this overarching bigger plot, but there's of course all these plots that get closed up at the end and it's awesome. It's very heart. It makes me feel a lot of things. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but I just, I feel so many things. It's funny. Both the characters can be really sarcastic in, the, in their own way. And there's a lot, a lot of sexual tension between the two. And believe me, it is hot. And we have promised that they are gonna get together before the end of the first season. Um, but 
so that's coming out. I don't remember. It's just called Criminal Intentions Season 1, Episode 5. They all have their own little, like, subtitles, but I don't know what any of them are called. I've already pre-ordered it, and I'm super excited for it to come out. I'll probably start reading it as soon as I get it on my Kindle. Another book I would actually really like to read in the month of November is... It's called Queer as a $5 Bill. By Lee Wind. So I am subscribed to this kind of email subscription called BookBub. In no way sponsored by any means. Um, and they just send you an email out talk like t letting you know in your favorite genres books that are either greatly discounted or like free and they also have bestsellers on the list so of course one of mine one of the genres I always I always have checked is LGBTQIA so anytime there's a new book they send it to me and if it's really interesting I'll buy it and so one of them was it's called Queer is a Five Dollar Bill and it's about this high schooler who does some re research on Abraham Lincoln and he writes this paper anonymous, anonymously about how Lincoln might have actually been gay and it's like this huge uproar and I just thought it sounded really interesting and I'm hoping to get to it this month. So I don't know what other booktubers you follow, who else it might be, but CC over at Problems of a Book Nerd announced this readathon happening this month in November from the 18th to the 25th called Fall into Fantasy. It's kind of, um, it's her with a, a couple of other hosts kind of um, affiliated with Penguin Teen and they're each gonna read their own book that they've chosen, a fantasy book obviously, and you can buddy read it if you want. Well, there's also challenges, and I'll link all the information down below. But so, I haven't really been reading a lot of fantasy, but I've been really wanting to get back into it. So I thought I would actually try to join this readathon. Now I just picked these book. I just picked these books based on ones that I really wanted to read most. So I don't actually know if they fit any of the challenges whatsoever. So we'll see. One of the books I would definitely like to get through get to during the readathon. It's called The Conspiracy of Kings by Megan Whalen Turner. It is... Oh. I forgot I had it. Conspiracy of Kings by Megan Whalen Turner. It is the fourth book in like the Queen's Thief series saga. Um, the first one is just called The Thief. It is... The first one is by far my favorite so far, but these books are just absolutely phenomenal. They are so nuanced and they have such a depth and the characters are just awesome and I would really like just finish the series because I started it like four years ago okay maybe not that long ago maybe three I don't know it was a while ago I started it and I just want to know what happens so I'm really hoping to finally get to this it's been on like two TBRs this year still haven't read it I just need to do it Another book I am hoping to read during the readathon is called City of Strife by Claudie Arsenault. I don't actually know much about this. It was another one. I think it actually might have been recommended to me by Adriana over at Perpetual Pages. Either that or it was another book to buy. All I know is it's supposedly supposed to have either queer or asexual characters in it. And that's kind of all I needed to know and it's a fantasy book. Another book I am hoping to get to is by an author I've been really meaning to read. It's by Nettie Okorafor. It is, I think, a newer release, a newer release book from her called Akata Witch. This one I also got through BookBub. I swear this is not in any way sponsored. But her ebook for Akata Witch was greatly discounted and it sounded really interesting. And of course, right now that I am doing this video, I cannot for the life of me remember what it's about. Besides that, it's about a younger girl, like teenage girl, who has white hair and like some special powers. That's all that. I mean, I'm assuming because it's fantasy. So I, I mean, I could be wrong, but. And my second to last book I'm hoping to get to through, get 
two, four. The readathon is called Thorn Fruit by Felicia Davis. This is also another book bub by, I promise it's this movie, this movie, <laughs> this video is not sponsored. I just, I buy books from there. I really need to do an ebook haul because I'm pretty sure I buy a book like a book a day, or at least a couple books a week. And I, the only thing that I got, like I didn't even really read the synopsis. It literally just said for fans of Tamora Pierce. And if you've been watching any of my earlier videos, I haven't talked about her as much. She is probably one of my favorite authors. And so all I know is that this is a book with queer characters. I think it has a female-female romance in it, and it's for fans of Tamora Pierce. I didn't need to know any more, so that is definitely on my list. Now, a book that, one of the books that is on my TBR, but I don't know if I'll get to because it's only like a week. It's, this is going to be the fifth book on my TBR, and some of them are bigger than others, so we'll see kind of how it goes. It's called The Sentinel Mage by Emily G. I have this on ebook and I've had it for a while and I really mean to read it because the premise sounds really cool to me. It's about this soldier mage. Um, so this mage who is female has the ability to kind of change her appearance at will. And so she changes into a guy so that she can be the bodyguard of the prince. But then, of course, things go wrong, and then there's feelings between the two of them. And I just thought that was really cool, because it's kind of like a gender queer character. I'll have to see how it plays out actually in the book, but I was just really excited to see it. And I really love the premise, and I hope to eventually get to it, because like I, I bought this like m more than a year ago. Anyway, that is my at least planned... TBR for November. I don't know if I'll get to them all. I hope I do. And I hope I maybe pick up some other ones along the way. But until the next video, ta-ta for now.